Hey folks, welcome back to the vlog. We were supposed to go to the nature park today, but the weather has been kind of all over the place, so we didn't go. But I wanted to do a little bit of like a mini haul. I've actually gone on an outfit that I really love. And the thing is, I'm looking at myself in the mirror, so in case you're wondering why I'm looking over here. It's in colors that I don't typically go for, but I'm here for it, okay? I needed to go out and get some stuff from, just like look for random things, run some errands, right? Like I had no real intention of being out, out today, but I needed to get out. But anyways, so I went into H&M and was like, let me just look at some stuff. Cause I really need some basic, just some like basic clothes and like, especially t-shirts that are v-neck. Cause all my t-shirts are crew neck and they're really high and I just don't want that right now. So I went into H&M because you can never go wrong with H&M. Their basics are great. And I was just looking around. And so at first I wasn't gonna buy anything because I couldn't find any V-necks. Everything was crew neck. And I wanted like a bunch of different colors, including neutrals, blah, blah, blah. So I couldn't find any. So when I was kind of on my way out, I was like, ooh, I saw these like linen shirts. And like you can see that they're kind of see-through. Like I've just got a regular sports bra on right now, but this is a navy blue. I wanna go wear navy blue. I don't think I have any navy blue anything, but I'm kind of into the whole like fall color scheme. So I got this t-shirt in navy blue, there's like a baby blue, and then a white. So I'll try those on in a little bit. But these pants, let's get into these pants. They're like a linen blend wide leg pant. They're a little bit big, but they, they fit really nicely. I got a big butt. I mean, it may not seem like it in these pants. They've got pockets, which, I'm not one of those girls that likes pockets because I feel like they, they can sometimes make you look a little unflattering. But I love the length. They're a little, they like skim the floor, but I'm gonna wash them and I'm kind of hoping that they shrink just a little bit to kind of bring up the length and also help with the, the waistband. But the crazy thing is, so these I got in a large. That's not crazy. But this I got in a small. A small. A small. I have not been a small since my early 20s maybe, but yeah, but I love this outfit. It's really, really cute, it's really comfortable. Yeah, so let me try on the, uh, let me try on the baby blue one, or maybe I'll put on the white one, and then I have, I'll try on the baby blue one with the other pair of pants that I have. So this is the white. I mean, it's basically like a white, just a plain white, you know, t-shirt, but I like the fact that it's a little bit see-through, you know, I kind of like mesh, Esque type vibes when it comes to shirts. Okay, so this is the other pair of pants and the baby blue t-shirt that I got. Same as the navy blue and the white. The only thing I don't like about these pants is how low they are. I'm not really a low waist girl and my belly button is like right here. So it like touches right at my belly button and I typically like things to come up a little bit higher. So if it came up about two, three inches higher, this would be ideal. Cause the thing is, it's going to be lower in the back and I feel like that looks a little funky. So I went to, so I have this shirt actually. I don't think I've done a haul of this cause I bought this back when we were in the um, apartment. But I have this shirt that, cause like I said, I love, I love see-through, I love mesh and all that kind of stuff. So I got this shirt, I think, where did I get it from? Focini, <laughs> got it from Focini. I'm telling you, like my whole wardrobe here in South Africa is gonna be from Focini and I'm not mad about it. So let me set you guys down really quick so I can show you. So I got this shirt from Focini. It's just this like royal blue, another color that I just don't really wear, but I'm just kind of drawn to different variations of blue, don't know why. But as you can see, it's like completely see-through, right? Which is fine. I love a shirt like that. I have a couple shirts that are see-through. And it's just really long kind of tunic thing. And it actually looked really cute with this, with these, with these pants, even just hanging out. But I wanted to find a bralette, either like flesh colored or the same kind of color family as this royal blue shirt that I could wear underneath, like a really cute bralette because it's like, it's gonna be seen. So I want whatever's underneath to be really cute. So I went into bras and things and I found some stuff that was kind of cute, but it, it didn't really like ring any bells for me or anything like that. So I was like, okay, let me let me just forgo that. So while I was on my way out, 
I saw that they had some stuff on sale, including this. And this is like one of the coziest things I've ever owned in my life. And it's basically like a robe. It's a, I guess it's a robe type situation, but it is so cozy, so warm. I mean, I'm not gonna wear this now because it's so effing hot. <laughs> like it's really hot, but look at this. And I've been looking for a robe and I think I found one at like at home, but it was too, either too expensive or something like that. It might've been like 800 Rand, but this I think was like two, 250. So it was cheaper than that and it's so cozy and it's perfect. It's a nice long length. I mean, I'm gonna have to like really pull it over to make sure that it fits around my hips. But even if it doesn't, I'm in the comfort of my house. So it's, you know, even if a little leg pops out, the only one that's gonna see it is my husband. So, you know, it is what it is. But this is so comfy cozy. And I love the fact that it has these like elasticated, um, elasticated wrists and it's not just open like my last robe and it comes all the way down like this is a perfect robe for me i am about to head out soon so i can run a few errands do some things i am going to decathlon then i'm going to head to four ways because there are a couple stores in there that i want to check out i'm going to hit up a fabric store because i want to get back to wearing head wraps so I don't look super, super bummy when I put on like a head covering because I'm kind of tired of wearing my uh, beanies all the time. But I've got on the outfit that I, or one of the outfits, one of the, some of the items that I purchased from H&M. Are we recording? We are. Uh, hello, good people. We're in the car. I decided to bring you guys along with me as I embark on this journey to all the places. Hello, good, oh, I hope we're recording. Lord, I hope we're recording. Are we recording? We are, yay. Hopefully it's not too dark. But hello and welcome to the car. I am on my way to Four Ways because there are a couple places that I want to go to. So I want to go to my Coco because I think that's the only place that it that it has like a brick and mortar store. So I'd have to go to Four Ways. I am almost out of my Cosrx propolis like toner serum stuff. That stuff lasts for a while. I think that bottle lasted me for like maybe four months, something like that. But as you can see, obviously I'm driving. Some of you may be wondering like, oh D, how is driving? I'm over in, in another country or in a country where they drive opposite to what you're used to, right? Because there are some countries that are similar to the States and you know, where we're on the left side of the car and on the right side of the road. Truthfully, it's not that bad because everything is opposite. So your brain just kind of adjusts. And I may have uh, talked about that in my debrief video, I can't really remember, but it's it's not that bad, truthfully speaking. The, the roads, like the, the streets and stuff can definitely be a little bit kind of dicey to navigate, but Truthfully speaking, driving like this is like your, your brain just kind of adjusts after a while. I've had to get used to the whole kilometers situation and trying to figure out that whole situation because my boo and I were like, how fast is um, 120 kilometers? How far is like 16 kilometers? You know what I mean? Y'all, tell me why it took me forever and a day to find the car. Like I was going up and down, up and down the freaking elevators and the stairs and everything and just had the hardest time trying to find the car. I spent more money than I was supposed to but at the same time it's for stuff that like I kind of need and wanted so I'm not I'm not too upset about it. I'm actually I thought that Ch Chateau Gateau was here in the mall but it's not. I think I was thinking maybe it was another place I saw and I thought it was um, that place. It's supposed to be another location that's like three minutes away from here. So I'm going to run in there really quickly. Yeah. And then I was going to go to the fabric store, but I'm not sure if I'm, if I'm still going to do that. Like I kind of just want to get back and chill out because there's some stuff that I'm working on that I want to um, that I want to get back to. The next time you guys see me, I will probably be back at the house. <sighs> of course, he's going to be barking, but y'all are going to have to just ignore him. And the ice machine is doing its thing. But I figured we could fry the cake together. So 
Here's a little box. It's a cardboard box from Chateau Gâteau. Okay, should be better now. Um, although there isn't a very good like setup here. Um, so I'm just gonna have to bend down. But yeah, this is the little box. So I got baked chocolate cheesecake, like caramel something, and then vanilla delight or vanilla dream. I'll put the actual names on the screen. But that's what they look like. Why is vlogging such a chore? Well, we're just gonna have to bend down. So first I'm going into the chocolate, the baked chocolate cheesecake. Here's what it's looking like. Oops. Looks like it, I'm not really a huge fan of chocolate, but it looked kind of appetizing. So I thought, why not? But it looks like it has regular cheesecake on the, it looks like it's like a maybe brownie on the bottom, like a brownie crust or something, then cheesecake, then like regular cheesecake, then chocolate cheesecake. Mmm, that's actually pretty good. Like I said, I'm not really a fan of chocolate. That's good. Mm-hmm. Um, next is the vanilla. It's like vanilla is delight, vanilla dream or something like that. And this is cake. It's got some layers in there. Look, coconut on top. Truthfully, it's a little flavorless. <laughs> I feel like my yogurt cake tastes better. Just tastes like vanilla cake with Vanilla icing. And then this one, this is three layers. So the vanilla one is two layers and this one is three. I kind of broke down. Ooh. Ooh. I'm getting that for our anniversary. That is good. Yeah, so if I were to rank, definitely the caramel one on top, bar none. The second one would be the double chocolate or not the double chocolate, the baked chocolate cheesecake. Even though I'm not a fan of chocolate, it tastes very good. And then the vanilla one would be number three. The vanilla one is not nasty. It's just, it's in terms of flavor, there's not much to it. It's really just kind of a plain cake with like buttercream. But I'm gonna box this up because I don't wanna go into a diabetic coma. And we'll go upstairs and I'll show you guys what I got from H&M, Luvisa, and my Coco. We need a tripod. All right, let's start with the stuff from Luvisa. I hope that's how you're supposed to say it. Luvisa, Luvisa, Luvisa. I always saw this brand in, I think, Mall of Africa anytime we would go. And you guys know that when we stayed in, the apart in an apartment here, we stayed at the Eclipse, oh, Eclipse, Ellipse. It's across the street from Mall of Africa. And so I've always wanted to go in there and check out some of their jewelry. So one day I was on their website, like maybe within the past couple of days and was like, you know what, let me look at their jewelry and see what they've got going on there. But because I have short hair, I've always loved earrings, but because I have short hair, I feel like I'm more inclined to wear more kind of statement-esque earrings. Just, I don't know, just to kind of adorn the face a little bit. It's like, I don't wear makeup, although that may change a little bit, but I'll, I can talk about that later and all that. So. I picked up two pairs of earrings. The first pair are these pair. I've already tried like one of them on um, and I, I, I love them. But like one of one earring of each pair, that's what I meant. But this is the first one, kind of like this mm, ribbed globe-esque situation. So I really like, it kind of goes with my gold ring here. This is a ring from my mom. But yeah, and I love studs. I love, love studs. I'm not really like a hoops girl, although I do have a couple pair of hoops. Um, maybe about four or five that I recently bought within the past that I recently bought that I bought within the past year So this is what they look like and it'd be really cute with this outfit, too Yeah, this is what they're looking like and then these these are actually quite heavy These are probably the heaviest earrings that I have that's including the hoops that I have but the hoops that I have are really really light but I took it off sorry, but it's These pair And it's kind of like a rope detail if you can see the texture same thing gold color but these are a little bit heavier so they tend to cause my earlobe to droop just a teeny bit but not so much that it's like really bad but yeah those are what they're looking like come on and focus on the earrings 
there we go so that's the stuff that i got from louisa louisa however you say it i did go to my coco i told myself that i was really just going to look in there but this morning i i pretty much ran out of my propolis toner that i use from cosrx i've spoken about it before i've spoken about the brand before and how my skin loves cosrx like no cosrx product that i've tried so far has been bad for my skin my skin loves it and my skin feels such a difference when i do not use this and that's the propolis synergy toner and then the last thing i got um were just two pairs of pants from h and m i'll try them on and, and show you guys what they look like but there's a pair, it's a pair of these high-waisted wide leg, I don't even know if I can really call these jeans, because they feel like, they feel like a combination of jeans and trousers, like pants, but they have like quite a bit of stretch in them, that's not doing a good job of showing the stretch. I got these pair of pants, so I love the color sage green, I know at one point everybody was like obsessed with sage green, especially in terms of interior design. I was, I don't know, this morning or maybe it was last night, I was on superbalist because i'm always on that site and i was specifically looking up sage clothing like sage everything so i was just looking at sage stuff so then when i came across these which are just these like flared fitted ribbed pants like lounge pants i knew i had to pick them up seems like I'm kind of moving fast it's probably because I kind of am so what I'm actually doing right now for the next hour because I have to segment maybe for oh my gosh holy crap uh oh my gosh okay uh Hey folks, so I'm gonna try to do this really quick. So you saw me panicking in the last clip, and that's because when I walked into the boys' room, I'll tell you why I was walking in there, but when I walked into the boys' room, that's how they categorized it when we were looking at the place. There was like a puddle, a puddle on the floor. Like I'll pop up a picture so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Um, we've been dealing with a lot of leaks in this house. That's pretty much where that's coming from. And so anytime anything like that happens, we take photos and we send it to the appropriate people to figure out like next steps. We had people come to reinforce the roof because of the leaks that we were experiencing in certain areas. And so they were actually supposed to come back this week, but because of the rain, it doesn't make any sense for them to come back. You saw me panicking. And so as soon as I had stopped recording, I called my boo, because I was just like frozen. I was just like, he just needs to come up here. It's not like I could have ran down there, but I was like, it's too far. So let me just call him real quick and tell him that he needs to get upstairs. Showed him everything and all of that. Yeah, so the reason why I was going in that room is because there's a lot of stuff, like even here, right? Like there are curtains. Um, there's curtains, there's artwork, there uh, is like furniture, just random things that were left here. There was a part of the, the purchase agreement that don't fit our style, they're old, whatever. We don't like them. So I'm taking measurements and getting information about all of these things so that I can send them to auctioneers, secondhand people, blah, blah, blah. Like I've been in communication with several people over the past couple of months to get them this information. So I was gonna start in that room and then I came across that and I was just like, what the actual F? But it's fine, c'est la vie. 
we still have, we're still relatively dry, you know what I mean? We don't have water just pouring all over us, but we do have some very obvious leaks that need to get addressed and fixed. So that's where we're at with that. Um, but the one thing that I do like about this house, because it's not very common, I don't think, and like people in South Africa, please like let me know, but I haven't seen many gutters. Gutters are like huge in the States, like every house you'll see will have a gutter, which helps with drainage. But here, if you don't have gutter, it's kind of like, where does the water go if it piles up somewhere? So like on the balconies, there are drainage holes. So if there's water that piles up, it'll have an escape and it'll just drain out into the yard and then of course into the street. <gasps> oh my gosh, I think, I think my package is here, hold on. I was mistaken, it is not a package for me, it's a package for one of the neighbors, but I am supposed to be getting a package today within the next like couple of hours. By the, it has to come here by like five o'clock. But, but I was talking about the house and like gutters and stuff, but yeah, it's, it's nice that there's drainage so that there is still some place that the water can escape to when you have days like this where you can probably hear the thunder um, where it is thundering and storming and everything. Hey folks, welcome back to the vlog. Give me one second. So my superbulous order came in. Yeah, my superbulous order came in and I wanted to show you the stuff that I got because I've already taken tags off. I've already tried this stuff on. I will, I'm not sure if, I, if I'm going to put a try on portion in this part of the video. And I realized that I couldn't show you the, I thought I had it on, on the camera. Okay, let me back up a little bit. <sighs> Regarding the leak, I thought I had footage of it when it had happened, but I don't. And it's pretty much like drying now. So I'm like, crap, <laughs> I couldn't show you what it looked like. But if you remember what the fish tank looked like, the, the carpet around the fish tank, when that had over flooded, it was basically the same thing in that room and the room next door to it, like just <sighs> leaks everywhere. But you know, they're drying and everything. So we'll get all of that stuff fixed. <laughs> And then we'll be fine. The carpet, we're not, when these carpets get messed up, we're not like too upset about it because they're going to get, they're gonna get replaced anyway. They're not gonna get replaced anytime soon, but they're gonna get replaced. So it's kind of like, we'll try to take care of them as best as we can, but because we know that these aren't going to be the final carpets, if we even continue to have carpet up here, um, we just really care. But I want to quickly show you what I got. So I got, really basic things, right? Nothing that's really cutesy and girly, like the dresses that I just bought from Superbulous. I'm telling you, probably most of my clothes are gonna come from there. And I've already found a brand that I really, really like. So I'm hoping to find more clothes from them that I can bring into my wardrobe. So, and I'll keep on that. And the brand is called Edit. And so, I'm on the hunt for several things. It's not like I'm trying to build a capsule wardrobe, but in a way, I guess I kind of am. Like I want to have pieces that are timeless. They don't necessarily have to be expensive because I'm cheap, but they need to be timeless and they need to be versatile. I don't want to get a bunch of super, super unique clothes that I can only wear a couple times and that's it. You know what I mean? I want to be able to get my cost per wear out of the clothes. But the things that I'm primarily on the hunt for, other than just really everything, are dresses and skirts, like dresses and then outfits that you can wear that are like skirts and a top of some kind, and cute lounge clothes. The brand that I told you about just now is Edit. I got a pair of pants from there. And they're these knit gray wide leg pants. They're these wide leg lounge pants and I love them because even in the photo, and maybe it was just the way that the model was standing, but it's like, and I don't know if you can tell, but I feel like this kind of comes in on the waist a little bit, so I feel like it fits a little bit more snug. The length is perfect, because I kind of have long legs. Even though I'm short, I have long legs from my height, so I can't wear petite and I can't wear tall, <laughs> and sometimes regular is too short. So those are perfect, and I'm realizing that the clothes that I'm buying 
fit kind of perfectly and if I wash them I can't dry them but I got new clothesline for the little clothesline that's next to the dryer in the laundry room so I'll be able to hang my clothes now moving on to kind of like skirts dresses things like that I got this ribbed skirt this black ribbed skirt oh. can you even see let me turn the light on but I got this black ribbed skirt it is when I wear it because I wear it kind of like I would wear it kind of like high waist it's midi length it's a perfect length and for someone like me who's curvy i got a nice little booty this is great i've got a little pudge so i probably have to find some comfortable maybe some like shaper shorts that kind of like suck me in a little bit so i don't look pregnant or bloated but even then even if i suck in my stomach a little bit or i don't suck in my stomach either way it's fine i still look cute but I like this because this is something that's comfortable enough for me to wear around the house, to literally just lounge around in with a cute little tank top. Or I can wear it out on date night with my boo. I can wear it out just like with a pair of sneakers and maybe a t-shirt if I'm like running errands or just kind of exploring around and, and things like that. So I love pieces like this. And then I got these two cropped, two cropped, two cropped like, tank tops I guess I mean they're best tops but tank tops and there's this one that's in black kind of hard to see on camera because it's so dark and then I got this sage green one and unfortunately these tank tops are from and the skirt is from H&M and I we're like kind of canceling brands and stuff so I had removed all my H&M stuff from my wish list and h and and that kind of broke my heart a little bit because I love H&M and they've literally come in clutch when I haven't been able to find certain things like t like v-neck t-shirts which you guys would have heard me talk about so it's it's a little sucky but I was like I already bought these and I didn't realize that H&M like people were canceling H&M for you know various reasons and stuff until after the fact so I was like I have these clothes it's it's fine I'm not going to just like get rid of them because that's just a waste. And then, so this purchase, so I have a stack of something here and I'll show you what it is in a second. But, okay, I've been talking for a while. This is the reason why I wanted to put in this order. So I told you guys in previous vlogs that I'm not really spending too much money on skincare. So I'm being very strategic about what I kind of bring in because I do have skincare that's on its way and... This also kind of gives me an opportunity to try some stuff out from different brands that I've never heard of before. But one of the things that I always keep in my stash are sheet masks and or just any kind of mask, sheet mask, clay mask, whatever. So I was on Superbulous, duh, and I was looking at their beauty stuff and I was like, you know what, let me just see what brands uh, make uh, sheet masks and whatnot. So I went on there and I saw these just like a collection of sheet masks. Now, mind you, I didn't read anything about the brand. I didn't read anything about the sheet masks or nothing like that. And you'll understand why when I opened up the package of these masks, they're sheet masks, why I was so surprised. So these are the, these are the masks. They're from Coco Star. They're the slice mask line. And I got each one. I think there's like nine here, something like that. Eight or nine masks here. Yeah, so I was like, why are they called Slice? You know what I mean? So when I looked at them, you look in the back and look at this. This is the sheet mask. So I'll go through the scents, the different ones that I have, and because I'm going to do some today, and I'm going to see if my boo will do some with me. And then I'll show you why they're called Slice Masks. So I got coconut, kiwi, strawberry, apple, watermelon, cucumber. These don't say slice on them, but they are slice masks. Rose, sunflower, and aloe. So using the sunflower as an example, this is the reason why they're called slice masks. So th these aren't like traditional sheet masks. They're like little thingies, like this big, maybe the size of a, maybe a silver dollar, maybe like a little bit sh uh, smaller than that. But you're but you're, they're like little mini masks, kind of, just circular little masks in the different shapes that the things are. Like this is the aloe one, the rose one looks like rose petals, cucumber, you know. And you basically just take them off the sheet and place them wherever you feel like you need a little bit of treatment and leave it on there like for however long, like 15, 20 minutes, like you would a regular sheet mask or any other mask really. 
and then remove it, rub the serum in. You can maybe rub it all over the face if you have enough of the little sheets on your face and proceed with the rest of your skincare routine. So when I saw that, I was like, oh my gosh, like what the heck did I buy? And this is what happens when you don't read the descriptions of the masks. But I don't think they had any other photos other than just the front of the masks. And even if I saw the sunflowers, I probably would have just thought it was part of the packaging and not part of the mask. So yeah, so later tonight, you'll see me use the coconut one. I wanna use the coconut one because I use coconut oil at night. And so I feel like coconut and coconut, it's kind of makes sense. So I'm gonna use this one today. And this is what the coconut one looks like. Isn't that so cute? Thank you.